everyone this is tim from your six studios today in this video i'm gonna go ahead and show you how to back up and restore your entire playstation 4 to a usb storage device so let's go ahead and jump into the video right now So I have my USB storage device already connected to the front USB slot on my PlayStation 4. And backing up your saved data, your games, and also your video clips is very easy to do. In case your PlayStation 4 gets stolen, damaged, or anything else. So on the home screen here, let's go up to the top and then go over to the right to settings and select this. Now let's scroll on down to system, which is the second from the bottom and select X on this. Now, let's scroll on down to Backup and Restore. Located right here, Backup and Restore the PS4's data using a USB storage device. Now, right at the top is Backup PS4. Then also we have the option to restore the PS4 after we back it up in case anything does indeed happen, come back to this setting when you get your PlayStation 4 back up and running and you can plug the USB in and then go to here and then you'll be able to back it up. So I already had my game save data on here. All I have to do is select it and I can restore from that point. So let's go to cancel. So to back it up, let's go to the top option, backup PS4 and select this. And you're going to have a couple different options. Now for this is just saying sync the trophy information for your other users. So let's go to yes. So this will probably take like one or two minutes for you to load all the storage information for the application, save data, captures, themes, etc. Okay, so right at the top, we see applications. I have about one terabyte worth of information for applications, which is my games. So if I select applications with X, I can go into this and I can select everything I want out of here. So if I don't want some games or my USB storage device isn't very large, I can uncheck mark some of these applications. So figure out what you want. Otherwise go to deselect all, confirm, etc. Then for save data, just check mark this and uncheck mark it if you don't want any of the game saves or like your minecraft worlds all your game information not your games themselves then captures are like your screenshots your video clips everything else related to that themes are just what is your themes on the home screen of your playstation 4 what you see in the background and then settings are automatically going to be saved now my usb storage device is not large enough to do this so let's go ahead and select just one game here under here let's go to pt that is a demo that came out maybe like six or seven years ago and is pretty popular they never actually came out with the game so let's go to confirm and that's still not enough storage space for me when you go to next it'll bring you to the screen where you can add a description in i like having the date in there so i can see when i last backed it up so your playstation 4 will restart and it will say like preparing to back up and then it'll take like a minute or two for that to happen. Then your PlayStation 4 will start and then it'll start the actual backup process. And this can take a while depending on the transfer rate and the amount of information like for your applications that you decide to transfer over to the USB device. It could take a while. It'll give you an estimated amount of time. So if this video did indeed help you out, go ahead and leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.